Hello, how's it going? This is Nick Melias, and I'm here with New Faces TV, and this is our Tech Buzz segment. Could you just introduce yourself real quick? Sure, I'm David Sachs, the founder of uh, Yammer. Awesome, great. So we're here with the Founder Showcase event, and we're seeing a lot of great startups. So David, what have you learned in general? You've been starting companies for quite a while now. What are some key things you would like to share with the audience? Well, you know, it, it takes a lot of um, experimentation when you do these things. I think, you know, it does make sense to, to start with kind of a small team and, and try to get a, a product that, that works. I mean, that's the most important thing is to really focus obsessively on, on the product. Um, you know, in, in, the, in all the companies that, that I've started, you know, we always, we, um, we would start with just a very simple um, user interaction. So with Yammer, it was simply the question, what are you working on with a kind of viral sign-up flow, and we would iterate on the product from there. So, um, so I would just say, you know, start on just trying to get a simple interaction that you can get a lot of users to engage in. Uh, but then once you find out that, um, that it's getting traction, I think you have to make sure you capitalize on that, on that um, before somebody else does. And so, um, you know, we had, we had about 15 people working on Yammer for about a year, but then once we, we realized that we had kind of discovered a market, we, um, we started expanding very rapidly. So we raised, we raised a lot of venture capital in a series of rounds, and we started hiring a lot of people, and we grew very rapidly because we wanted to make sure that we won this new market that we had created. Okay, great. So it's almost as if you're saying that you take this approach where you try, you try a few things, obviously very strategic, but then you figure out what it is that really does pop, and then follow that and make that going forward. That's kind of the strategy. Well, uh, you know, I like starting these things with a small, tight-knit team of, of people, of, of product developers, so engineers, designers, a product manager, and um, and just you know, and, and, and until you get to something that you feel works, then you launch it, and then you actually find out whether it, it works. Um, so there's sort of this, this period of experimentation, but once you find out it's clicking, I think you have to get out of lean startup mode uh, and or experimental mode, and you have to scale very rapidly. And um, and I think that's a shift that um, entrepreneurs have to have to be ready to make. You know, I think you, you, um, I don't believe in, in staying in kind of lean mode forever. I, I like lean mode for the period of throwing spaghetti against the wall, but once something sticks, you have to scale very rapidly. Absolutely. I think that's great feedback. Um, in, in general, now that you've, obviously you've got plenty to play, what is it that you like to do outside of startups? So is it startups all day, or do you have a few things outside of that? Um, you know, it's been keeping me really busy for the last few years doing doing Yammer, and, um, you know, now I've, I'm... Uh, I'm getting a little older, and I have kids, and so they kind of keep me busy on the weekends and stuff like that. Nice. That sounds like a great plan. Well, thank you again. This is Nick, and this is Move Faces TV, and we're here with David Sachs. David, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me.